Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to another Crafty Decor Adventure. Olivia here with Olivia's from Mia Tech Home. And in today's video, I am over the moon, excited to share with you some DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget-friendly decor crafts. So this is another episode in my huge I Love Christmas series. I'd love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique a gorgeous on a budget. Hey, listen, don't forget to join me, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and punch that bell. It's totally free. It will update you every time I post a new video. I post several DIY videos a week on YouTube, as well as several a day over on Facebook. Hey, also don't forget to keep up with the good work crafting and decorating. I feel like crafting and decorating is so good for your heart and soul. So without further ado, go ahead and plug in those blue guns. Get out your glitter and paint and ooh, let's get crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a super cute little Dollar Tree decor Christmas piece on a budget. So I'm taking this a charger from the Dollar Tree and this little galvanized home sign, and then I'm using some of this Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm going to add it to the top and kind of ruche the ribbon around. So I added a little bit of hot glue, and then right here, you're just going to take that ribbon and kind of pin it back with the hot glue and just ruche it um, around. And then you can take some of the ribbon and and loop it over on itself, pinch it in the center, and then I tied mine off with just a little pipe cleaner here, and then I hot glued it to the center part of where I ruched the ribbon. Now this is kind of like a little bit of a wreath alternative, although you really couldn't hang this on the front door, although maybe you could. Um, my kids are kind of wild when they come through the front door, so I just stick to a wreath, but this would be a nice little decor piece for a little space, and I'm using a lot of this leftover evergreen, so if you guys have some leftover evergreen pop that into the center part and it kind of fills in a little bit of the area above the home sign and also covering those little bitty tiny spots where there are hangers I always find those on the Dollar Tree goodies um, but you guys can really get creative with this Dollar Tree has a ton of different colored chargers those are going to be in your plate section. So a charger is just um, the thing that goes underneath a plate kind of for decor. Now I'm also adding in some pretty little Dollar Tree red berries. And again, you guys can really get creative with this. If you don't have the galvanized home sign, that's okay. Dollar Tree also has some different Christmas galvanized um, metal signs that you could use, or you could just use one of their smaller mini signs. So you guys could really get creative with this. I can't wait to see what everybody's gonna do with this project in my group. Also, Dollar Tree has these little cute little pine cone picks, and I just trimmed off some of those and then added those to the center of the bow to kind of give it a nice little blooming effect. So. Again, Dollar Tree has multiple different colors of chargers, gold, copper, silver. I chose red for the Christmas theme to kind of give a pop of color to this space. And it just kind of added it to the end of the mantle. And then I had some greenery around that spot as well. But you guys could do so many fun things with this. Drop a comment down below and let me know what would be your take on this if you have some of these supplies on hand. Fun way to do a Christmas display piece. And this is very, very budget friendly. You could even make these up for gifts if you had multiple different galvanized letter pieces or whatnot um, or you could do a craft night with friends or family so fun and fabulous on a budget For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how you can take some of these Dollar Tree wooden pieces and create a pretty little wall art piece. So I'm using this Peace on Earth wooden piece. It was $1 at the Dollar Tree. And I'm taking it and I'm just making a base coat color with some white paint. Super easy. I used one coat. The next thing I want to do is add some of that antique wax. This is just the Waverly Antique Wax from Walmart. And I painted some on just with this little little um, piece of cloth and then I took a piece of sandpaper and gently kind of sandpapered a little bit of the wax off. I wanted to make it kind of look a little bit distressed. Now I'm taking one of these Dollar Tree canvas pieces and I'm just going to add a little double double of hot glue to the back part of the wooden piece and then hot glue that to the front of the canvas piece. Now you could call it good here but I do like to go a little bit extra with some of my projects and so I decided to take some Dollar Tree greenery. These are just a couple of little bits and bobs that I had in my craft stash, and I'm going to gently hot glue them into the edges of the Peace on Earth sign. And then really, again, you guys could really use any greenery that you have on hand, and you don't even have to use this part, but I like to zhuzh it up and just make it a little bit more fabulous. 
I'm trying to think of kind of some of how the Kirkland's pieces look or, you know, a decor piece you might get at Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx. And I do love the sentiment of the peace on earth. Gosh, don't we need that? Um, a little bit more peace on this earth. So anyway, now I'm going to add in some of these little vase fillers. These are tiny pine cones. These are also at Dollar Tree and you guys can get these in the crafters square section or the crafting section. I just added those just to kind of cover up where I had added the greenery pieces. And then here is how that looks kind of popped into more of a neutral setting. If you're doing the modern farmhouse or you're doing farmhouse or you just want to do neutrals, this is a fun idea. Now you could always paint your wooden letters or paint the backdrop of your canvas. That's an idea for you. Um, or just add in different pieces of your greenery. You could add a bow to the top, which I totally was going to do, but I was kind of trying to go a little bit more simple, a little bit more scaled back, which it can be kind of tricky for me. I kind of like to go a little bit extra, but here's a fun idea for wall art or just art on a budget. Now for this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to make a fun little budget-friendly centerpiece. So I'm starting out with this little box. Now this box actually came in a two-pack from the Target Dollar Spot, but Dollar Tree puts out these style of boxes, and I'm just painting it with a little bit of this Waverly antique wax. I also had some white paint on my brush, so that's kind of why it's making it look a little bit kind of whitish brown. Um, but just paint your little wooden box, or you could really use any gift box. Dollar Tree has the cutest gift boxes out right now. Um, so just get creative with it. Use whatever little box you have on hand. Now, a friend of mine sent me this cute little galvanized Dollar Tree metal truck. So my idea was to add this to the front of the box to make it kind of a centerpiece that has some a zhuzh, a little bit of a farmhouse flair. So that was my idea for this one. Now, I will let you know if you're going to do that, don't use antique wax on the front part of it because it was a little bit tricky to get that hot glue to stick to the wax. Just a little side note for you guys from what I learned from my own project. <laughs> Listen, I'm just doing my best here, guys. Okay, I did hot glue um, some Dollar Tree styrofoam to the center part of this and then added some of that Dollar Tree greenery. I just cut apart one or two of those picks and then kind of picked them in. And then I'm also adding in some of those cute little Dollar Tree pine cones. Now, again, you guys get really creative with this. Dollar Tree has some wonderful little poinsettias. Dig into your craft stash and use what you have. That's what I'm doing now once I get more towards um, the beginning to middle of December and I'm really trying to utilize what I already have. I know it's really easy and fun to go out and buy new stuff, which I totally love doing, but I'm also trying to kind of dig into my stash and really push myself to use what I have. So Anyway, there's that. Now I'm gonna add in some cute little moss around the edges of this to really fill it in. We don't wanna see that styrofoam greenery. You guys could add a bow to this. You could paint your little truck. I added just a couple little um, burlap pieces to the front of this, actually from the hanger that this little truck came with. And I just hot glued that along the edge. But you guys could really get so creative with this. I'll be interested to see what some of you guys do with some of these little centerpiece ideas. I love making centerpieces. I think they're such a fun way to bless your home and bless others and so that's just a fun little idea for you guys on a budget Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with y'all how you can make over one of these cute little Dollar Tree sled signs. And listen, I think these sled signs are absolutely adorable as is. You could totally leave it as is with little Santa and the deer, but I wanted to do something a little bit different with this sign. So what I'm going to do is flip it over and paint it white. Um, chalk painting it is really the best, but I'm out of my chalk paint as always. And so I'm just going to use some regular old white interior latex house paint. And I did have to paint it at least twice. Um, and then the next thing I want to do is use this piece of galvanized um, 
metal from the Dollar Tree as well. And this was just a plain piece and hot glue that to the front part of my sled. Now this was after two coats of paint and the paint had dried. And then the next thing I wanted to do was use one of these little Dollar Tree mini signs. Since this is a sled, I thought using one of the snowmen um, signs would look really cute. So I'm adding some hot glue to the back of the snowman sign and then I'm just going to gently press that on to the metal piece as well. And then you guys can get really creative with this. Now, I decided that the flat white look was just a little bit too white. And so I went in with a little bit of this Waverly Antique Wax. And again, this is from Walmart. And then I'm going to just take a piece of sandpaper and gently sandpaper over that to kind of pull that off. And that's gonna give it that kind of nice um, aged rustic distress look. Now I'm just taking this ribbon and I took the ribbon and looped it over on itself. And then I'm gonna pinch it in the center center adding some hot glue to add my little bow I love to do these sleds I've done so many different looks for you guys over the past couple of years and so I hope you guys are loving this one for something different the next thing I want to do is just tie some gingham, gingham ribbon around um, that first piece of ribbon that's going to secure that first piece of ribbon on there and also give it some color and some flair now I'm adding a cute little gingham bow to the center part of that and then and again, just really you guys can get so creative with the colors and the additional um, goodies that you add to this. I really love to add bows and goodies, but of course that stuff is extra as well. Now I'm adding in some cute little pine cones to the center of my bow, again, just to jazz things up. And I think these are really a fun idea. These would be great to set outside your front door, especially if you have a covered front porch. Um, or maybe under your Christmas tree or by your mantle. Just some fun ideas. And also think about this. When you do a snowman, that can go a little bit further past Christmas. So when you do snowman or winter wonderland stuff, that can go for the new year. Is always what I think when I'm doing my snowman crafts. So very fun, fabulous on the total budget. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna take one of these wooden crates, and this is actually a Target Dollar Spot DIY, I guess, because these are at the Target Dollar Spot. They come in a two pack. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna take it and make kind of a candy striped theme. I've been doing a lot of candy striped candy land themes, and so I'm just using some little red acrylic paint, and I'm gonna paint the stripes on this red. Now Dollar Tree has these kind of crates as well, but they're a little bit of a smaller size, and I happen to have run out of mine from Dollar Tree. So again, I'm just gonna use this one from Target Dollar Spot, and then I'm just gonna use my brush, and I'm gonna paint around the top of this. What I wanna do is create just a cute little candy stripe box, and then I'll have some more decor to add into my candy stripe theme. It's always good to have some more themed decor. And again, I'm trying to use what I already have in my craft stash. So if you guys have a craft stash like me, look at that stash and look at whatever theme that you're using in your winter decor or your ho holiday decor and paint it to match that theme. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take some of these little candy pieces. And these are actually a thrift store or garage, garage sale find. I can't remember, but I know I found them in a bag. I believe at my local thrift store, but I'm just going to add these little candy pieces to the front of my box to kind of jazz things up a bit. This stuff, of course, is totally optional. Um, you could always add just a little bow or whatnot. Now, I will tell you also that Hobby Lobby does have candy pieces that you can use to cut apart. You're going to find them in the ornament section, and I think I shared that on one of my Hobby Lobby um, hauls. Yes, I did. So I did a Hobby Lobby Christmas haul, and I shared where you can get that. A lot of people have been asking me about where to get candy um, themed ornaments. And I will tell you, Hobby Lobby has a great selection. You can DIY some. Um, Michael's has also some pretty great candy stripe selection. I even noticed some at Walmart. Um, again, I do pick stuff up over the over the whole course of the year. So sometimes I'll get a lot of my stuff at garage sales or thrift stores. The next thing I'm doing is taking this cute little Dollar Tree 
tree skirt. I don't have a mini tree to use this with, but I thought it would be a fun thing to kind of pop down into the center part of this basket and then add in some like little poofy balls to kind of make it like snowballs is what my idea was. I don't know. Um, I just like to add and zhuzh things up a bit, but you know, having some snowballs maybe by your front door would be a fun little idea and then put a little sled or a little shovel would be cute. I'm adding in some more candy pieces just to make it go along with the theme. I don't know. It was kind of wacky how I created this box, but I thought it would be a fun idea. And just you guys get creative, do what you have, do what you love and make things fabulous. I think you can always jazz up your home and your crafts and it doesn't have to break the bank. You can just kind of use what you have and really have fun with it. So here is how it looks popped in with my little nutcracker again at thrift store find and um, some of this garland, a little mini tree. And then there's that little sled that we did. And then I have to share with you guys Benji Bear. Every time I sit down to work, he is so funny. It's it's like his playtime. He thinks when I'm sitting down to work, it's time for him to play with mom. So he's always by my desk. And you may even hear him barking in the background of my voiceovers. Um, so there he is. Benji Bear says hi to all his puppy dog fans and everybody that loves him. And we love you all. Another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I would love to also invite you guys to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you punch that bell, it will update you every time I post a new video and subscribing is totally free. I would love to have you guys join my fun little crafty community. Also, I have a Facebook page. It's Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook. I'll leave the link in the description box for you guys below, but I have a free little group page if you guys want to join that and post photos of your home decor and DIY projects. Don't forget to comment and also enter my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. Also, if you guys need to catch up on the rest of my I Love Christmas series, I'm going to link it for the place down below for you guys. And hey, listen, I just want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work crafting and decorating. I feel like it is so good for your heart and soul. So keep putting one foot in front of the other and crafting and decorating and just keep putting one foot in front of the other no matter where you're at in life because we're all going through something, right guys? So thank you guys again for being here. I cannot wait for our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.